When you're self-publishing books, it's hard enough to write the book or design the interior. Then you've got to stress out about getting the perfect cover. Is your cover good enough to compete in your genre? Today, I'm gonna to share with you three groups that can help you determine if your book cover is good. So stick around. Hey, Right Writers, Keith Wheeler here, and if you want to continue to get all the hints, tips, and tricks on how to make self-publishing easier, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash your little bell icon so you get alerted each and every time I put out a new video. Man, I gotta get a haircut. Anyway, as kids, we were told to never judge a book by its cover. That said, we all know that people do in fact judge our books by their covers. But how do we know if your cover is good? I found there are three different groups of people that you can go to for book cover feedback. Group number one, your friends and family. Your friends and family are a good place to run your cover image by first. Majority of the time, they know what you're going for, what your overall goal is, so they have better chance of being able to tell you if you're conveying that through your book cover. Many of them may already be familiar with your story, and so again, they'll know whether the cover is a good fit for your story or a good fit for what you're trying to convey in your story. Now, the downside to friends and family is that they have a tendency to be super nice. So they may sugarcoat things or just flat out lie to you and tell you something's good when it may not be as good as it could be. Also, since the majority of the time they're not going to be in the book world or may not read that genre, they may not be able to give you the high level detailed feedback that you're really looking for. So be sure to keep that in mind and make sure that you take whatever advice that they give you with a grain of salt. Group number two that's going to help you answer the question, is my book cover good, is going to be your readers. Your readers and your followers are already familiar with the genre. They know what they like and they know what they've seen in other books as far as book covers go. Therefore, they can probably give you a real good idea as to whether or not your book cover is good. They may even be able to give you some suggestions on tweaks that you can make to make your book cover even better. Also, since they're already familiar with your books, they can let you know if your book cover doesn't really fit in with what they've come to expect from you or if it doesn't fit in with your overall brand. The downside to using your readers is that it's just opinion based. They're basing it on their particular likes. Also, because they are your readers, they're just a subset of the entire reading community. For example, this YouTube channel. I adore and cherish my subscribers. I've told you before, you guys are like a second family to me. So I try to listen to suggestions that you have. I look at my subscriber analytics to see what kind of things subscribers of this channel like. That said, if I only created videos that the current subscribers wanted to see, well then I would alienate the non-subscribers that may end up liking my channel if they'd just been able to see some of the other videos. This leads us to group number three. This group can really make a huge difference when it comes to book cover design and giving you honest feedback on if you have a good book cover or not. In that group, other authors. Other authors have no vested interest in you as an author. They're not your readers, so they're not familiar with what you've already written or covers that you normally do. They're not your family or friends, so they're not worried about hurting your feelings. So to be honest, other authors will probably give you the most honest feedback you'll get when it comes to your book cover, good, bad, or indifferent. They know the ins and outs of the business and what practices are normal for books in general, as well as genre-specific tropes. Now, the downside to authors reviewing your book cover is that although they may be familiar with authorship in general, they may not be familiar with your particular genre. Therefore, they may not know the tropes that are present for your particular type of book. Also, because they don't have a vested interest in you particularly, and they do look at this as a business, they can sometimes be a bit cruel when it comes to their feedback. So you gotta make sure that you have thick skin and don't take it personal. Remember, this is business. Now also, I know some authors may be reluctant to share their book covers with other authors because they're worried that they may give away their pen names, their keywords, their titles or subtitles. My workaround for this is to put placeholder text in for your title, subtitle, author name, and any other blurb that you might have on your book cover. I mean, let's be honest, the text itself is irrelevant. The key element really being judged is the book cover design and the layout. How is the overall cover design, the image, the font size, style, and type, how are they all pieced together? None of that needs to be the exact verbiage to give accurate feedback. Therefore, the words can be interchanged as long as you're showing the font type, font style, font size, imagery, and overall layout that you're planning on doing on your final book cover. Once you get your final feedback, then you can piece it all together and change and update the text 
to have it match what you want for your final cover. Bonus tip, a way to test your book cover quality before you even show it to anyone, as well as as a final test before uploading it to your platform of choice, is to take your cover, shrink it down to thumbnail size, then go to your genres page on Amazon, go to the top bestseller list, and take a screenshot of the top 20 books or so. Then you're gonna take your thumbnail image and place it against the screenshot that you took of the top 20 books in that genre. How does your book fit in? How does your book compare to the other books that are there? Does it just blend in to where no one's really gonna notice your book cover? Does it stand out in a good way? Does it stand out in a bad way? For example, if the other books in your genre have dragons on it and your book doesn't have a dragon on it, then you might not sell that well because people in that genre or subgenre have been conditioned to look for dragons on book covers. So if there's no dragons on your book cover, they may not be interested. Now your book cover can also stand out in a good way, where if it has everything that it needs, but maybe the colors pop a little bit better, maybe it's a little bit more clean, it has something unique about it and stands out better, well then that's all a good thing. Now I love talking to people in person, but these days you can actually reach a lot more people by utilizing social media. Did you know that you can even leverage social media to sell more books? In fact, this video right here is a video that I did recently with my buddy Mark Roberti, where he showed us three ways to use social media to sell more books. So go on and click on that video right there and check it out. Or you can check out this video that YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next video and remember to write right.